Hello folks and welcome back. So here are my three measurements. Your first measurement should be pretty similar to mine, might not be identical, but you'll have your own two measurements for the other two um, things. They, they, I'd be incredibly surprised if they were the same as mine. Now, there are a number of um, properties about our measurements that we have to consider. Their precision, their reliability, and their accuracy. So let's first ask ourselves, are our measurements as precise as they can be? So you might be thinking those three words she just said all mean the same thing, but they don't. Precision means that I have recorded my measurements to the maximum number of significant figures that my measuring device allows me to. Okay, now you can see I've used the same measuring device for both my measuring my five lines and measuring my blade of grass. Have I been as precise as I can be in both measurements? And the answer is no, I have not. Because if I was able to um, judge to half a millimetre in my five line measurement here. So here I have individual centimetres, millimetres, and then half a millimetre. I should have been able to make the same precision at this um, for my grass. So if I'm saying that my grass is 10.1 centimetres, and for my measurement of five lines, I've said it's 3.95, I should be able to say that that one there, if that's landing right on a millimetre line, that there is zero fractions of a millimetre after it. If I was able to do it to two decimal places on this one, I should also be able to state this to the same level of precision. So I'm saying here that the grass measurement, my, my blade of grass, landed right on an individual millimetre. Okay, right on the line. Um, I will tell you my, my time measurement is as precise as I could make it. Um, my Casio watch takes things to two decimal places. Your iPad or phone or whatever you made your measurement may have been more and that's absolutely fine. So there we go. I've made my measurements as precise as I can. The measurement devices I have used allow me to give this many significant figures. So are my measurements as reliable as they can be? Now, in earlier scientific courses, you should have come across this concept of reliability before. A reliable measurement is one that if I take, keep taking the same measurement over and over again, I keep getting the same answer. Reliability is something essential to higher data taking. It means we're going to have to repeat our measurements. In higher, we like to repeat our measurements a minimum of five times. So I am indeed leading up to this folks. You are gonna go away and you're gonna repeat those measurements another four times each. So that you have five measurements of the same thing for, uh, for these three different things, okay? So go away and uh, measure your, your height of your five lines another four times, the length of your blade of grass. I hope you've still got it. Um, otherwise you just get a new blade of grass and do it five times. And the time for whatever you timed. So I'm going to go and do my repeats, you go do yours, and I'll see you in session three, folks.